Hello and welcome to my tutorial of the DAC spawning system for Armour 2. Now you use the DAC in your missions if you want to change um, how many AI there are each time you run a mission and so the mission basically chooses where the AI will walk so you don't have to manually set the waypoints yourself and in the long run it will make mission making a hell of a lot easier and faster for you. So let's begin by placing a playable unit and name him S1 and click OK. I then you want to make a trigger and the size of a trigger determines the size that of the radius that the AI can spawn in. So here I'm just going to keep it at 50-50 in a circle and change the activation to game logic repeatedly switch condition to true and on the on act copy and paste this line so Z1 Z1 refers to the name of the trigger so you want to copy whatever's in there to your name of the trigger um, 1 means this is the group 1 uh, 0 so enemies will spawn here at 0 seconds well I don't know why I said that they will spawn at the beginning of the mission the second bracket is infantry third bracket is reeled vehicles like jeeps fourth bracket are tanks fifth bracket is helicopters or camps um, so three means there will be three groups of infantry the second three means they will be in the size bracket three which happens to be two to eight people per group twenty waypoints within the radius of the trigger and each group will get six of them waypoints. So let's just see how this plays. So let's press OK and preview the mission. So you see the DAC debug feature appear in the corner. This will tell you if there's any problems. And there we have it. Three groups of infantry have spawned, each different size. So two people there, about five people there, and six people there. So you can see how this DAC feature will make uh, your missions a bit more random. If you press the map you can actually view um, where each group is moving to. Of course you can turn this off in the config, which I'll probably go into in another video. Next I'm going to show you how to add more to your DAC line. Okay, so let's complicate things a bit more. Just a bit. It's very simple. Just double click on the, your trigger. So, what you want to do is copy what you have in your first bracket and stick in the second bracket. So, once you get the hang of this, you'll see how simple this really is. Now, just like before, this means three groups will spawn size bracket 3 so 2 to 8 let's change that to size bracket 2 so that's actually 2 to 4 um, there'll be 15 ray points in the circle and each group will get 5 of the ray points now the only difference here is instead of infantry it will spawn jeeps, uh, lorries, trucks anything to transport troops so let's click OK and preview this and you'll see that theoretically two trucks or jeeps should spawn well two groups have spawned um, and there you go. 
It's simple as that. So we know what these brackets mean here. Now the last set of brackets is the faction and the side and the behavior of the units. So change them from 0 to 1. Leave the fourth one at 0 and click OK and basically this should spawn blue 4 units instead of op 4 units. I'm going to refer you to the readme uh, PDF files for DAC to actually find out in depth what each one of them numbers mean. So as you can see, blue 4 units are spawned. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm going to make a second DAC um, trigger now. Same way I did before, creating a trigger, go and make this a rectangle. Game logic repeatedly true. I'm gonna just copy and paste what I have from the old DAC file and I'm gonna name this uh, Z2. So because this is called Z2 I want this code to link to this trigger so I'm going to change the name to Z2 number I want to change this 1 to 2 and I'm going to change the side of this faction to OP4 now this should be quite interesting well also what I want to do is just change this to 1 so what this does is it will spawn the AI when I trigger it. To do this, I'm just going to click OK for now. And I'm going to make a, another trigger. Like Blue Peter style, I have one ready. Inside here, I'm just going to copy and paste this onto the on act. Name of zone, so I want it to call zone number 2, Z2. When Billy is dead. So I'm just going to make a unit called Billy. Let's make him civilian. And for this I'm going to change my unit to um, a civilian as well. Actually, independent. Just going to make my I'm friendly to everyone. You'll see why I did that. Um, so all you have to worry about is this trigger here. Z2 call activate will activate this trigger when Billy here is killed by me. So let's see this in action. We will preview the mission. Now I haven't changed the first trigger so these will spawn at the beginning of the mission like so. Now I'm going to go kill Billy here. Sorry Billy. And there you see the other trigger spawned. And we're going to watch a nice little battle unfold here. So as you can see this DAC config is fun, it's easy to use and it's very useful. Um, I'm going to have to... Uh, I can't go into much more detail because there's so much in this DAC that I could be here talking for hours and I don't think anyone wants to hear my voice for hours. So instead, oh, I've just been killed. That was friendly fire. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is recommend you read the readmes and is, remember, uh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but to make DAC work you have to copy and paste a DAC folder into your mission directory. Simply done. Just follow the short instructions on the readme inside the DAC download and you'll be good to go. So I hope you find this video useful and I'll see you next time.